Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again for another Mad 23 Auto Team video. In today's video, pretty much we're gonna be going over, um, of course, our top five best tight ends in Madden 23. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love. We really do appreciate it. Shout out to all my new subscribers if you are new to the channel. Make sure you guys continue to show love and, and support. Drop a comment if you're new. So let's go ahead and get into it. So of course, we're going to continue our top five best series. So we're going to be doing tight ends today. So we're just going to get, we're just going to jump right straight into it. So um, our honorable mention uh, tight end that we're going to put here is going to be uh, tight end Rob Gronkowski, 98 overall. So um, you can't really get this card, honestly, because he's not optionable. So he actually was a free card from one of our previous season passes. Um, our passes that we had, I think it was either two or three. I'm not sure, but um, you can no longer get this card. But if you do have this card, um, pretty much he still is pretty much one of the best tight ends in the game, honestly. Um, he's 6'6", 268. He does have some X-Factor abilities. Um, so like he does, he, he can get Vanguard when it comes to impact blocking, it helps in impact blocking he, as far as he can get grab and smash, which, um, helps with success chance with stiff arms and truck attempts. So he is able to get, you know, X factor abilities as far as zero AP abilities. The reason why he's not making the top five for me is because he doesn't really get any zero AP abilities. Honestly, um, that's the only reason why, to be honest, I mean, he does get, uh, yeah, he just doesn't get any zero AP abilities um, as far as when it comes to any good ones, to be honest with you. So that's the only reason why he's my honorable mention player, but he is really good. He does get all team, all 32 team cams as, as well, too. So but uh, but he's really good when it comes to run blocking, 97 run blocking, good carry, good catching, 97, 97 catching traffic, 97 short, 90, 94 medium, all around good balance tight end. But let's go ahead and get it to my number five so number five i got george kittle so you're going to be price range wise he's going to be like 150k to 200k when it comes to price um he is 6'4 250 um he does have 96 speed if you do have the easter strat item then you should be able to get him to uh you should be able to get him to 98 speed if you if you do have 49 steam team you should be able to get him to 99 um all in all pretty good catching stats 97 catch 98 catching traffic short route running good receiving uh, stats attributes um he does have really really good run blocking at 95 so he is a versatile uh tight end to where he can run block and he can um and he can be a, a good receiving tight end as well a good receiving tight end and a good uh run blocking tight end as well um as far as his abilities he does get you can get um deep out elite you can get honorary lineman you can get short in elite for zero ap so those are zero ap abilities um typically let's see, let's look at the stacks here uh typically some people get honorary lineman on him some people get short in elite i would i would put short in elite on him honestly or deep out elite and go and go with that combo to be honest with you but he's a really really good number two he can be your number one on your team um but uh for me he would be my number two but this is my number five of course my number four player is going to be travis kelsey uh 98 overall um he's going to be like i said the same time he's going to be 150 to 200k range when it comes to price um he is 65 he is 260 um so he does have 96 speed so he should be able to get to 98 speed with the easter strat with the chiefs kim 99 of course um he does have really good receiving stats uh 98 catch 98 catching traffic 98 short route running 98 medium route running 95 deep route running 90 99 spectacular catch 98 release um so pretty good receiving stats as far as blocking wise he's not the best run blocker honestly kelsey is a, a lot better when it comes to run blocking um so he's not going to be your typical run blocking tight end he's really going to be your um receiving tight end to be honest with you but the main thing of the main reasoning why he's my number four is because he does get um for his last ability bucket you can get route tech with zero ap which is really really good when it comes to man coverage and those and cutting of routes and stuff like that considering that we're in a man coverage meta right now um route tech is really really good when it comes to tight ends and wide receivers so it's very much crucial to have this so that's why he's going to be at man number four because you can easily put him slap that on him for zero ap and call it a day and you won't really need anything else to be honest with you um so yeah so he's going to be at man number four all right, my number three, um, this player just came out, but he should be, he's gonna be a little expensive, but um, definitely a very, very great card. So it's gonna be 99 overall, Mike Dicka. 
um definitely he does have cowboys cam so i know he'll fit on my team for sure but um he's gonna be around four to five hundred k range as far as price he is six three two thirty um you, you can get him to 99 speed regardless of theme teams or anything all you have to have is the easter strat item receiving stats are insane 98 catching 99 catching traffic 99 short route running 98 medium route running 97 deep pretty good receiving um attributes blocking he has 90 run blocking which is awesome you can he can be your receiving tight end and he and he can be and he can run block for you so he's kind of he's very much similar to the kittle but um the reason why he's at my third spot is because he also gets uh he also gets route tech but he's better than he's better than kelsey because he has better run blocking so you can get route tech on him for zero ap or you can get short in elite red zone threat matchup nightmare or arm bar but of course i'm going to put route tech on him of course um, but he is going to be my number three. All right. So my number two, which is going to be pretty surprising, is going to be Mark Andrews, uh, 98 overall. So he's going to be right around the 150 to 200K range when it comes to price. Um, he is 6'5". He's uh, 253. Um, as far as speed, speed is kind of on the lower end. But with the Easter Scratch item, you should be able to get him to at least 97. With the Baltimore Kim, you should be able to get him 99. So he should be good. Um, receiving wise pretty good receiving stats 97 catch 98 catching traffic 95 short 90 medium 94 deep pretty good and then of course for run blocking which is great i love this car he does get 88 run blocking so he can run block for sure now the reason why he's at my number two spot is because of course with the game changer cards they do get two zero ap ability buckets and between the game changers and the ring of honor cards those are the only two cards that actually get two zero ap ability buckets when it comes to there um yeah so um you can get at uh of course the reason why i love him so much is because he can get route technician for zero ap and you also can get red zone threat for zero ap in a as far as in a different ability bucket as well too so having that route tech and red zone threat for zero ap and you don't have to spend ap on him like that makes him a very very a very very valuable tight end when it comes to the position itself because having as many zero ap abilities as possible on your team is definitely an advantage so he's definitely going to be at my number two for sure um and then of course my number one you already know who it is is going to be 99 overall tony gonzalez um he's going to be right around the 350k to 400k mark as far as price um He's 6'5", 243, uh, speed, 96 speed. You can get him to 98 speed with the Easter Easter, Easter Scrat um, Chiefs, um, Kim. You can get him 99 and the Falcons Kim as well. Um, really good receiving, 99 catch, 99 catch of traffic, 97 short route running, 98 medium, 96 deep. Uh, he does have 90 run blocking, so he can run block, he can receive. He has good speed, he's very tall. He's just pretty much all the all around running the all around tight end that you really really want to be honest with you and then of course he does get two zero ap ability buckets like i said with the mark andrews like i said ring of honors and game changers are the only two actual you know programs that actually can get zero ap um two zero ap ability uh on their two zero ap ability buckets on their cards so um with the tony gonzalez you can get short in elite a uh, deep out elite deep in elite or short out elite for zero ap and then of course you can get that red zone threat um in a different ability bucket for zero ap so you can choose from any of those and have red zone threat for zero ap so that is why he's going to be my number one but overall that it that will be my pretty much my top five best tight ends in the game so it's going to go tony gonzalez mark andrews mike dicka Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, and then my honorable mention is Rob Gronkowski. You can also add Edge to the game, the out of position Edge card. You can add a, a few others as well, as far as our honorable mentions. But the reason why I didn't put, pick those cards or put those cards on this list is because of height and abilities and stuff like that that you can get and that you can't get. So that's the reason why. But um let me know what you guys think of this list in the comments and let me know if you would change any order or, or have a different player on the um list or anything like that let me know in the comments so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys continue to show love i really do appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one